Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. Uh, we're looking at a beautiful day. 72 Sunshine Dublin Deck Wednesday. So excited. And a reminder, tomorrow is a big ticket blitz on Thursday at the... <laughs> it's on Thursday at the TGI Fridays on North Ocean Avenue in Farmingdale. It's on Thursday at the Fridays. That's right. And there was a little uh, discrepancy on the time. It's actually 6.30 to 8.30 tomorrow at the Fridays, North Ocean Avenue, Farmingville, exit 63, giving away hot summer concert tickets. And it's going to be amazing. Can't wait. And uh, Good stuff. Yes. Uh, excited about that. Um, Candy, I was reading uh, um, an article. I wanted to... Let me find this real quick. This is not a big thing to get into. Oh, you know, I grew up on heavy metal and hard rock, right? Yes. One of the things that's wrong with you, but go ahead. What, you, you know, I'm kidding. I just, mm. some of your favorite bands are bands I don't care for. No, oh, that's too bad. You need to open your mind. Okay. All right. All right. So a psychologist said growing up or listening to heavy metal uh, could be good for you. It lessens stress. Gives well, all a, music lessens stress. Gives an emotional release. Absolutely and, all music does that. And it makes people who people who listen to heavy metal are more logical and focused in life. I don't that. find that true. Don't you downplay my article on my childhood. Okay? Okay. I, Look at me. Look at the perfect specimen of a human oh, being. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Get off I, that Metallica. That, <laughs> that I've become. Incredible. All right. Next uh, next thing I needed to bring up uh, is the article I talked about earlier about 22% of men sleeping with a stuffed animal as an adult. Now, have you ever, let's start at the beginning, slept with a stuffed animal? Uh well, when I was Did a kid, did you have a favorite stuffed animal? When I was a kid, yes, I used to sleep with a bunch of stuffed animals. One of them I remember was a little clown. I called him Bobo the Clown. It was like oh, a little, it was that like explains a, a lot. Like a clown doll. Yeah, <laughs> scary. That's very scary. Did it talk uh, to you at night? No, no, no. Thank it did goodness. Not. It did not. I used to take Bobo around uh, everywhere I went. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Now. I did recently in the, you know, a few years back, sleep with a stuffed sushi pillow that Leah made me at her sewing class. Do you remember when she I did do. this? I do. That's adorable. I used to cuddle with that. Now, remember, I cuddle with a body pillow because I sleep with it, like, between my legs because of my back. So, like... Brian has that same thing going on. And I've done that with stuffed animals. Like, but it, like yeah, randomly with stuffed animals. I don't... Not every night, but... Yes, I am one of the 22% of adult men who've slept with a stuffed animal, and uh, I'm proud to admit it, Candy. I got no hey, problem with it. I love that about you, that you'll just be open and admit such a thing. Many people would not. Yeah, no problem here. Uh, it happens, you know? What are you What are you going to do? Uh, I, I enjoy it. Some I've uh, been known uh, from time to time on vacation. You know, when we used to share uh, beds, like, you know... If, if we're all in one room, and let's say I was sharing a bed with Abigail or whatever, and she had stuffed animals in the bed, I'd cuddle with one of her stuffed animals. You know, yes, I, mean, yeah. I understand that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It, uh, it happens. Uh, National Days, Candy. Today is World Caring Day. Could we all just get along? Not just one day, every day. Let's try to come from a place of kindness Let's start this with one day. world is going day. crazy. Let's see if we can get through one. One day. day. Be nice today. All right. Don't blow your horn if somebody doesn't immediately go when the light turns green. Don't you yeah. hate that, by the way? I've been known to do that from time to time. Do you know, Brian, if you blow your horn at Brian, if the light changes and he's like maybe not moving uh, uh, for a second, you blow your horn, he'll slow down to a crawl. Oh, sure, to mess Just with Just to you. annoy the person who yeah, dared now, blow the horn. Uh, you do, I, I will say, in today's day and age, 
you have to honk sometimes because you could be sitting at that light because you look at the person in front of you and their head is down and you know they're looking at their phone. I understand that, but I'm talking the light turns green and not even hardly a second goes by and they honk. Yeah, that's a bit much. That yeah. is that is a little little bit <coughs> much. Um, it is World Safety Day today. What does that mean? Oh, World Food Safety Day. World oh, food. well, that is Keep, important. Yeah, keeping keeping the food uh, we eat safe. Yes, every day. National Oklahoma Day. You ever been to Oklahoma? Oklahoma. Oh, that's all I know of that. Uh, weren't you in that play once or something? You told me. I was in a camp production of Oklahoma. I was a uh, a farmer, I think. Oh yeah. You know, oh the farmer and the cowman could be friends. You know that whole oh, thing. Oh, you still remember yeah. it? Oh, Something lovely. Like that. Yeah. I've never been to Oklahoma. Uh yeah, me neither. Um, it's National Chocolate Ice Cream Day today. Nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. It's National VCR Day. You still got a VCR candy? <sighs> No. no, I have a DVD player in the closet. You know, if someone would have told me that uh, all the Seinfelds would be on Netflix one day, I wouldn't have taped them all on VCR when I was a kid. Candy. <laughs> I used to do it with 30 something taped every episode. <laughs> yep. I got every episode. And yep. now you can't find it anywhere. So I should find out where those tapes are. It's National Boon Day as in. Daniel Boone. Now, uh, you know, he, uh, I guess, explored the uh, the state of Kentucky and founded uh, Kentucky or something. And uh, Founded began... Kentucky? Yeah, it says he uh, first began exploring the valleys and forests of the present-day Kentucky, June 7th, 1769. Oh. Boone, Boone founded the village of Boonesboro, Kentucky. Is it uh, still in existence today? I don't know, but my question is this. You know how uh, years later we find out some people weren't so nice or weren't good people? Should we be celebrating Daniel Boone? Is he, is he okay? I don't even know. Is he all right? I don't know. Are we still celebrating Christopher Columbus? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. All I know, sure. I know one little Daniel Boone was a man. Yes, a big man. That's all I know. I don't know what you're talking about. It was a right. little song my father sang. All right. I think I recall, maybe, maybe. Uh, it's not a it's, nice song. Uh, <laughs> finally, it's National Running Day today. Yeah. What was the last time you ran anywhere? I could sit and make a joke or whatever. I have, The only running I even do at this point is uh, sometimes on the tennis court. I mean, if it's raining and you're outside, you run to your car. Is that what you're going to tell me? That's that's about it. But I do get jealous when I see people running, like you're driving and they're running. And I like, always oh, am fascinated nice. by the runners, too. I think some of them look completely and utterly miserable. <laughs> but to be that motivated to get out of your house and run through the streets of your neighborhood that takes a lot of motivation, you know that? It does. I don't ever run. I don't, I'm not a runner, okay? Yeah. I love to walk. I love to walk fast. Walking, I'll walk with you anywhere. Running, forget about it. It's too bad malls are going away because you'd be a great mall walker as an All older right. person, Candy. Really? I what? walk outside with the people. Yeah, but you be you know those fast mall walkers, you know. I do. No, I'm not doing that, and you're insulting me, and I'm already mad at you. It's a good group of people. I don't. You join, and then I'll see where I go from there. I bet those people have lots of stories to share. I I don't want to talk to anybody. All right, uh, Candy. Some good news. Let's try to end this show on it. Wow. A few weeks ago, a military father, Douglas Hernandez, surprised his daughter. At her UNLV graduation, he traveled more than 30 hours from the Middle East. His daughter Pamela didn't know he was coming, and the two hadn't seen each other in a year. Oh. Yeah, very cool. Very, very, very sweet. Mm -hmm. um, on Monday, Florida deputies were struggling to remove an alligator from a highway. And they got some help from Trey Hunton, a wildlife wrangler and former cast member of the show Gator Boys. He helped get the gator. So afterwards. he was just on the road? He managed to, I get where they, they called him. him to the scene. They might have called him up, maybe. Mm, I wonder. Which, by the way, sparks a memory. Yesterday on TikTok, 
I saw a video. I don't know where it was. It was an alligator sanctuary park something. And an instructor, one of the, the one of the handlers, was giving like a showing to some people, and the alligator grabbed her arm. Oh my goodness! And pulled her into the to the water. That is frightening. A a person, a st- a person who was just there, a regular person who obviously has some training, in you know maybe I don't maybe he's a first responder whatever. He yells for help, and while he's yelling for other people to come from the place. He jumps into the water, jumps on the alligator's back, holds the the mouth down, you know, tries to get the woman's arm released. Finally, after two minutes, the alligator releases uh, the arm. He is holding on for dear life, like he's holding on to a bull, like he's riding a bull. And wow. finally, finally is able to jump off safely and get out of the the enclosure. Wow, it was, that, it, that's crazy. It was wild. Well, you know, I was in South Carolina on vacation a few years back, right? And what you see is signs about alligators. Be careful of the alligators. Be careful walking your dogs. Alligators, alligators. So it's in my mind. They had a pool, an in-ground pool, and it was fenced in. But it wasn't a fence where you couldn't see. I thought maybe I was in the pool by myself. I freaked myself out and said, oh, my God, I think there's an alligator in here. And, like, (laughs) really gave myself a panic attack. That being said, I'm on Instagram, and I see this alligator break through a wire fence. Oh, my God. I said, I'm never going there again. No, thank you. No, No. thanks. Um, Last one for you, a skin patch to combat peanut allergies in children under the age of four has shown to be safe and very effective in advanced trials. No word when it's going to be available for use, but that could change the lives of a lot of kids. A lot of kids, definitely. Yeah, I mean, we would get notes at school not to bring any peanut products. Yeah, it's a big uh, big Big deal. Big thing. Very bad allergy. All right, so as we end the show, Candy wants to try something new. Yesterday, she was not thrilled with (laughs) the show. At the end, when we were done, we're off the air, she goes... Eh, that show was just so so. I'm like, come right. on, what's your what's your deal? I gave it a C. All right, average. So we're gonna start a new thing where we're gonna self evaluate the show. So go ahead, Candy. What do you think? Today was better. I'm giving today a B. All right. Um, I will give. You'll it... work your way up to an A one day. <laughs> I will give. You know what? I'm just gonna let you rate it. I don't need to read because I think every show is an A+. Plus, I right? know. You're like, what are you talking about, I see It was great. I said, yeah. yeah, it was kind of dull. All right. So today you rank a B. Okay. Excellent. We were just mediocre today. A little higher than mediocre. We were well, or a little better than yesterday, which is okay. good. And hopefully tomorrow we'll be even better than that. And we'll get an A pretty soon, hopefully. We'll see. But it won't be today. All right. Tomorrow... Uh, We will give it a go again. Uh, Big night at Dublin Deck. I'll see you all out there. We've got Southbound, the Wheel of Prizes, food, drink, great weather, 72, and sunshine. Uh, I'm here till noon with tons of music. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.